Hey there, welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show. This is a show that is dedicated to rock music and all its genres, as well as some, as some non-rock music that we've just started. Anyways, uh, today is our series, uh, redoing our, restarting our series up again after a, a bit of a break. Um, this will be episode number 47 from the year 2009 and feature John Mayhew of Genesis and Michael Jackson solo career and of the Jackson 5 and the Jacksons. Okay, and I want to make sure that I remember to do the uh, honorable mentions too. Um, okay, so starting out with John Mayhew. He was the drummer for Genesis, the uh, second drummer, not the first one. Uh, anyways, he was born March 27, 1947 in Ipswich, Suffolk, 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 England, died uh, March the 26th, 2009, at the age of 61 in Glasgow, Scotland, and yes, that was the eve of his birthday the next day. Uh, kind of a sad way to spend your birthday. Very sad. Anyways, uh, his music was classical rock and progressive rock. Um... He played drums, percussion, and also did some backing vocals, um, and was active in 1969 and 70, and then again once in 2006. Um, he joined Genesis in August of 2000. And, uh, sorry, he joined Genesis in August of 1969, in time to record their Trespass album, and then he left the band in August of 1970. I think he was actually dismissed from the band. Or maybe they just didn't call on him for the next album. I'm not sure how that worked. Um, he moved to Australia and found work as a carpenter. And he was replaced in Genesis by, yes, Phil Collins. Um, he died March the 26, 2009 of a heart failure. The night uh, he was celebrating his birthday that night. And he died uh, that night and uh, never reached his birthday. Uh, played he played one Genesis uh, at one Genesis convention in 2006 in which him Anthony Phillips the original guitar player and uh, Steve Hackett all played on a song called the knife and which he played the drums on um, and the band they for argument's sake they called it re Genesis so uh, Peter Mayall was a, I think a decent drummer fairly good um, he was older than the other members of the band and had played with other bands uh, on tour before where they had not so they kind of looked to him a bit at the beginning because he was the kind of the guiding force of what what was going to happen they, they didn't know how to how to prepare themselves for live events but anyways um, they eventually I guess dismissed them because they needed somebody with a little bit more progressive sound to him and they went with Phil Collins um, I think he was a, a decent drummer myself I've listened to most of the tracks on Trespass many times and I think he was a pretty decent drummer I mean is he in the same league as Phil Collins maybe not but still a pretty decent drummer um, and of course he only played on the one album Trespass which I think is a very good album but I don't think it's quite the masterpiece that some of them become later so there you have it for the first guy John Mayo I wanted to give the Genesis group some love and uh, you know I wanted people to recognize that this guy was a pretty decent drummer as well so the other person we're doing tonight is a guy I'm maybe not as big a fan of personally but recognize some of his outstanding achievements uh, which is Michael Jackson of the Jackson 5 uh, the Jacksons and of his own solo career. Michael Jackson was born August the 29th, 1958 in Gary, Indiana. He died on June the 25th, 2009 at the age of 50 in Los Angeles, California. He, his music was kind of varied. He had, he was in, he, he did some pop, soul, funk, R&B, rock, disco, post-disco, and I'm not really sure what post-disco is. Um, dance pop and I think that's pretty much it and uh, he was a vocalist of course um, and also a dancer uh, 
He was active from 1964 till his death in 2009. He was actually getting ready for a world tour at the time when he died. Parents Joe and Catherine Jackson. I think his dad was actually the manager of the Jackson Five at one point. Um, and his sisters, uh, his brothers in the Jackson Five, and then later the Jacksons, and his sisters Janet and Latoya Jackson as well. Um, so in 1964, he made his professional debut as part of the Jackson Five. Later, they changed the name to the Jacksons. I think it was come some kind of legal dispute, but I'm not really 100% sure. I remember reading something about it at one time. So he started his solo career in 1971. Um, he's, he had a solo, his first real big solo album came in 1979, which is called Off the Wall. Then Thriller came, and Thriller was the biggest selling album uh, of all time. Just sold more copies than any other album ever. Um, Bad is the first of his albums to have five singles make the top 100, uh, the hot Billboard Hot 100s at the time. Um, he died of a propofol overdose which was administered by his doctor and his doctor was later uh, charged with manslaughter and convicted he sold over 400 albums worldwide i don't remember ever seeing anybody sell that many so i would have to say that is pretty close to the record maybe the beatles i'm not sure maybe madonna but i don't think so i think he was the biggest one he estimated worth over 850 million so he wasn't hurt for certain. Sorry, that was a stupid thing to say. Anyways, um, Michael Jackson, I think he had an impact on me. I remember him when I was a kid. I remember uh, watching the Jackson 5 on ABC and uh, liking their music quite a bit. And I remember him doing the song Ben in the uh, movie Willard. Or, yeah, it was Willard was the first one. I remember, uh, like, just his progression from that like, lovable young boy to this rock phenom with all these dance moves he was no doubt one of the best dancers of ever ever to exist in. Um, and his music suited what he danced to so it was a great seemed to touch everything he touched seemed to turn to gold as far as his music career went personal life now that's a different story but I'm not really here to talk about that. Um, we all have our bugaboos and uh, skeletons in the closet. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm just here to talk about the man's musical contribution and they were huge. Influenced a lot of people. Um, I think he won just about every award you could possibly win. Um, he's been in so many, like a lot of Hall of Fames. I think he's twice in the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the Jackson 5 and a solo career. I believe he's also in the Dance Hall of Fame. He may be in the music, there's maybe a couple of others, maybe the Soul Hall of Fame or something like that. There's a few of them though, there's quite a few of them actually. And he won just about every award, like I said. So the man was very honored and very decorated and had a huge impact and was well known. And um, his death was a huge shock to the uh, dance community, I believe, especially uh, those people who were huge fans of his. Um, so my kudos are out there to Michael Jackson for his ingenuity in his videos, his ingenuity in his dancing, his ingenuity in his music, and his ability to grasp a crowd and, and set the dramatic stage. So, um, so there you have it. Michael Jackson of the Jackson F Five, the Jacksons and his solo career. and. John Mayhall, Mayhew of uh, Genesis, the drummer for Genesis. So some of the honorable mentions, I just made a short list today. Um, pull it over here so I can see it a little better. Uh, Don Ashton of the Stooges, or Ron Ashton, sorry, of the Stooges. That's probably more like it. Uh, um, okay, sorry, Alejandro, uh, school of La Los Pedros, I think. 
you know what I was gonna try to do this without my glasses but it's it's clear that they're just not quite I'm just not quite up to it okay so the other ones uh, Billy Powell of Skinner I think yeah I was right Ron I did write it e Ian, Ian Evans of Skinner too both of them died that year Kent Henry of Blue Image um, Tom Patton of the Bay City Rollers he was actually 71 I can't believe that Ron Stallings of uh, Huey Lewis in the News Les Paul of course uh, renowned legendary guitar player and Mary Travers of Peter Paul and Mary there you have it some people I want to send out the kudos to I, I hope they rest in peace uh, thanks for your contributions to rock and roll and for my my listening and other people's listening needs thank you so anyways I hope you like this video I hope you uh, uh, want to see more and if you do please subscribe let me know uh, what you want to hear like make comments anything you want anyways uh, from prog monster I hope you have a great day and we'll be seeing you very soon oh, by the way this video will come out tomorrow morning Tuesday morning um, I like to make them the night before don't really have that time in the morning but anyways I hope you have a good evening and this is Murph from prog monster have a good evening <laughs>